had an ingrown hair all year after having them back to back to back every single month for a year. And this is the one secret that's gonna change your life. Hello, my name is Bria Black, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I'm in the shower, because I'm talking about something shower related, which is ingrown hairs. Now, starting about two or three years ago, out of nowhere, I just started getting random ingrown hairs in my bikini area all the time. And at that time, when I would get the ingrown hairs, they would be painful, but they would eventually go away. Last year in 2020, when the quarantine had first kicked off, the pandemic was running amok, I got an ingrown hair right on my bikini line that hurt so bad, it got infected. I tried to burst it, it was smelling terrible. It was hurting so bad, I couldn't even walk. Like I literally was so miserable. I had to go to the emergency, the emergency care. And they had to open up the ingrown hair and like bust it. And I was on the emergency room table like crying because it hurt so bad. It was so painful. I literally still have a dent in my thigh where the ingrown hair was because it was so big. So ever since then, I literally stopped shaving. I only waxed exclusively because I thought that would help. It didn't help. I would still get the ingrown hairs. I tried to exfoliate using different scrubs. That didn't help. The one thing that I did that changed my ingrown hairs forever was I stopped using Dove soap. No joke. This girl that I follow on Instagram who was a waxer put on her stories one day like, ladies, don't use Dove soap. It leaves a residue on your skin. Meanwhile, I've been using Dove soap since college. I've been using Dove soap for, for forever. The shea butter, like the cocoa butter Dove soap, I've been using that soap for forever. But since I stopped using that soap, I literally have not had an ingrown hair since in combination with a few other things. So, the three things that I did to stop having ingrown hairs was, number one, first and foremost, most important thing, I stopped using Dove soap, Dove bar soap in particular. I started to use Method Beauty. I got this from Target. It is a, let me read the directions. It is a biodegradable, plant-based, sustainable brand soap, and it smells so good. This one is the, the Berry Balance. It smells so good. It's so fresh, more natural, won't leave residue on your skin. I started using this and my ingrown hair stopped immediately. The second thing that I started to do was use um, exfoliating gloves on that area. So I don't exfoliate as much as I should. Like I'll exfoliate maybe twice a week if I remember, but I just put these gloves on. Chaka, 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 chaka. <laughs> and I'd be scrubbing them areas. Haven't had an ingrown since. And then the last thing that I do is I use this stuff called PFB Vanish. One of my sorority sisters who work at a, a wax place and they, they recommend this stuff. And this stuff definitely... So it, it, when I used to have ingrown hairs, I've been using this for a long time. So it's not an, it's something I would use exclusively to prevent ingrown hairs. But when I used to get ingrown hairs, I would put this stuff on there immediately and it would kind of start to clear up. Um, and it also is like a chemical exfoliant. So I was using this, I didn't know this, right? So I was using this every day for like a week and I started to see some materials in my underwear. And I was like, oh my God, it's my vagina falling off. But it was, it was just like the dead skin coming off. On the bottle, it says that it uh, does skin brightening, ingrown hair relief, waxing, razor bumps, it treats that cool blue roll-on for men and women. Kind of smells like alcohol. Kind of smells like nail polish remover, to be honest. Um, so I use this just to treat. But stop using Dove soap immediately! That, I'm telling you, I know that's what it is because let me tell you. So a few weeks back, I went to Chicago with one of my friends and I bought a bar of Dove soap because I didn't want to take my big old, you know, soap with me to Chicago. And I used the bar soap one time and literally, two days later, I had a big old ingrown hair. So that's how I know that it's the Dove soap that's giving me ingrown hairs because as soon as I used it again, it came back and I hadn't had ingrown hairs for six to eight months. Ladies, if you wanna stop having ingrown hairs, stop using Dove soap right now. And I'm not sponsored, but Method Beauty, is their girl. Method Beauty, they have so many different scents and they all smell so good. 
and it's just more natural good for the cookie every year or whatever but that's what helped me i still get waxes i still don't shave but the dove soap i'm never using the dove soap again but i do be giving my guests dove soap because people do like dove soap so it's no shade to dove like no shade but for me for me i just i just can't do it my body just don't react well to it but it like dove soap like y'all do y'all thing like y'all do y'all thing but i i can't use it personally um but yeah that's my secret and i literally have not had an ingrown hair since and i don't ever think i'll have one again so that's T. Welcome to my bathroom. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.